Good afternoon. I want to encourage you. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes we go through things in life. The Bible says when you go through the water and through the fire, you will not be quenched. You will not be burned. For God is with us. But um, I was really encouraged by Psalm 103, 10. I'm going from memory, so if I don't quote it exactly right, please forgive me. But he says, uh, praise be to God, basically, he has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as far as the east is from the west, he has separated our sins from us. And it says, he uh, basically, his wisdom is far above. And so, today, God has not rewarded us. He has not rewarded us if we make mistakes. And this was something that I was kind of struggling with. Anybody that's made mistakes, sometimes we look at ourselves, we allow shame, doubt, uh, condemnation to come. If you read Romans 8, verse 1, he says, There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, right? Who live according to the Spirit and not according to the flesh. But um, look, he looks at us, the Father looks at us through Jesus, which means he looks at us through the finished work of Christ. He looks at us through the accomplishment of Christ, through what Christ did on the cross. It says that he fulfilled all righteousness, amen? So if he fulfilled all righteousness and you're in him and the, the fulfillment of the law is fulfilled in you because you walk according to the Spirit, that means, hey, you're righteous because you've been given the gift of righteousness through Christ Jesus, amen? Sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we look at ourselves and we say, well, how come... You know, why God's going to be mad. God's going to punish me. It says he has not punished us according to our iniquities or judged us according to that. Jesus did not come to condemn or judge the world, but that we would be saved. That would include, you know, your shortcomings, the things you feel are failures, all that. And so I want to just encourage you as a brother in Christ, or maybe you don't know Jesus yet, but he will not judge you according to what you've done when you give your life to him. Now, the Bible does talk about judgment. I'm not saying there is no judgment. Of course, Paul does say there is no judgment for those who are in Christ. But it does say that there is a judgment that we will stand before Christ and will be judged. You know, he talks about the sheep and the goats. So that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you give your life to Jesus, you know, you repent, you confess your faults. It says he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, right? So if you've messed up today, please, please come to your Father and allow him to just talk to you, heal you, and wash you of your sin, wash you of your mistakes, and give you the robe of righteousness. As I said, don't be like the prodigal son and say, Lord, I'm no longer worthy to be your son, but come to him. Amen. God bless you, and I hope this encourages you.